Well, in the extreme cold and the extreme heat, batteries like the one in your phone and even your electric battery in your car can lose power. Yeah, new at 530, CBS 17 Sonica Bargo is getting answers on what you can do if that happens. For electric car owners, weather can have a major impact. A recent study from Recurrence, which collects data on EVs, found extreme heats can reduce battery range, making easy to access charging stations even more important. The expectation is that we'll do roughly 50 charges a day. Circle K just opened 30 new EV chargers at one of their Wilson gas stations. The company also has chargers in Dunn and Hope Mills. So we're extremely excited about growing our footprint the recurrent study found it's not until 95 degrees that EVs see a significant loss in range. At temps above 95 or 100, EV owners can see a 15 to 30 percent loss, but not everyone is seeing that trend. The thermometer in the car said 99 most of the way here from Greenville. And uh, I've actually, I'm actually getting longer range than usual. Susan Clisby got her Hyundai Ioniq 5 back in December. It's just the finest thing since sliced bread. She says in winter she did see some battery loss, but lately her battery range is better. It tells you down below how many miles you're getting per kilowatt hour. That's your, basically your mileage. And right now I'm getting about 3.8. And usually I get about 3.1. The study did say range loss in colder temperatures is usually worse. There are things you can do to protect your electric car in extreme heat. First, keep the battery charged and don't let it sit for weeks out in the summer sun. In Wilson, Sonica Fargo, CBS 17 News.